what do you think explains your rise in the polls and your opponent's collapse in the polls? Well, first of all, Lawrence, thank you so much for having me on. Thank you for this opportunity. I, I think there are three reasons. One, uh, Mississippians are just tired of being last, tired of having less. You know, we're just so tired of it. I'm 66 years old, and uh, ever since I've been, you know, here in the state, we're last in education, last in health care, last in job opportunity. We just, we're just tired of it. And they want someone now who's accessible, available, who believes in a new Mississippi, a Mississippi that's welcoming, and a Mississippi that'll lead this state into the third decade of the 21st century. The second reason is that people now looking at Sydney Hyde Smith. Lauren, she is uniquely awful. Not only is she against Affordable Care Act, not only is she want to cut pre-existing illness conditions, coverage for that, not only is she not doing anything to stop the, the tide of all of our rural hospitals closing, she loves Mississippi, but she likes Mississippi of old. You know, she, she does. She has a, a pension to glorify Confederate symbols. She went uh, 2014, she went into the Jefferson Davis Museum here in South Mississippi. Now, that's fine to go to the museum. Our flag, now that we've taken down, is in the museum. But she went there, Lawrence. She tried on that little Confederate hat. She, 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 she tried on a waistcoat and held a rifle. And then she said, this is the best of Mississippi's history. Well, no, it's not. It is not. I don't believe that. So they want somebody who is someone who will lead this state into the future, welcoming and united. And then the third reason is, frankly, I ran before 18 months ago, and you know that. I ran against the same uniquely awful senator, and we got 47%, even though we only had six months to run. Our race was the last Senate race in the United States because Thad Cochran fell ill and resigned. So we had to, in April, decide to run, stand up a campaign, find the staff, raise the money, he made a message. We got 47% of the vote. That's why I knew we could win. We had to run then to win now. Your viewers should know that here in Mississippi, we have more black voters per capita than any state in the nation. More. So we have a lot to work with from the beginning. So all we have to do is build a coalition. Just get out the black voters like never before and get enough white voters in the suburbs, in the college towns, or the Mississippi Gulf Coast to build that coalition to do what we need to do, and we are doing it. Uh, yours is not the highest profile Senate race uh, in, that the national media is covering. Have you, have, ha have you had trouble getting the attention and the support from the National Democratic Party for your race in Mississippi? Yes, yes. You know, it's, it's like um, they're beginning to now, and I'm, I'm very grateful. If you had asked me that question two months ago, I, I would have been, um, you know, I would have given you a different answer. But right now, I'm very grateful. They're beginning to come now. I did a call with uh, Tom Perez and the National Democratic Donors yesterday. But this is Mississippi, Lawrence. I'm, I'm used to this. Uh, it's like Catch-22. They ignore you until you can prove your own viability. And it's hard to prove your own viability if they ignore you. So here in Mississippi, we got all these black voters, but 20% of them are below the poverty level. There are 100,000 infrequent voters. I wish I could automatically say, just come and vote for me, but they're in grinding poverty. It's hard to pick yourself up and go vote for a candidate if you don't have any sense that that candidate could have an impact on your life. So that's our charge, to take our gloves, our mask, and our PPE, and I really need help for that with your viewers, to go and get those 100,000 voters that hadn't voted for anyone since Barack Obama 2008. They didn't vote for him in 12. They didn't vote for Hillary in 16. They didn't vote for me in 18. No, the Democratic nominee for governor in 19. But we know who they are. We know where they are. We have their contact. I need to be able to get them. We need resources into this campaign. Please have your viewers go to sfacenter.com. We can do this.